whatever you might need we got you covered right here so let's jump straight into it what's up rating hunters welcome to another video today we're gonna be covering all the essentials that you need to jump straight into the arena with any class that you might want to go for in season 3 dragonflight we're gonna cover how to gear a character your enchants your crafted pieces where you find the right build to go for all the weak auras the add-ons whatever you might need we got you covered right here so let's jump straight into it we're gonna start with how to get the gear so for the gear to get started for the arena you want to get honor gear which you buy here in valdraken right here to get honor you can go and do battlegrounds of course and you can also do the brawl battleground blitz it's a good one because you have a weekly quest that will reward you with both conquest and honor if you activate your war mode you are going to be able to see world pvp quests which give you honor and bloody tokens which are used to buy gear as well you can also get some pieces out of the world quest sometimes and sometimes they will reward you with like 500 bloody tokens or something like that which will be like two pieces at least also you have a weekly quest for getting sparks that you get from this guy right here and the spark quest is just basically going through Taldrassus this week and looting disturbed dirt, war supply crates and expeditions packs and then you will get trophy of strife which you can also use to buy some uh, some really good pvp gear you will get conquest and honor as well of course i'm gonna show you later in the video because i have a good add-on to track the things that you need to get sparks for the bloody tokens you can buy gear right here at militia if you have the trophy of strife from the weekly quest you can get epic gear with item level 40 86 for the pvp gear and also if you have enough honor you can buy more trophies because you can catch up on the trophies from every week just for bloody tokens you have this vendor right here who also has pretty decent pvp gear to get started and you have the honor vendor right over here to get you going for the arena and right beside him you have the conquest vendor for the best pvp gear of course if you have a main and you have a lot of honor or any character with a lot of honor and you want to send it to an alt you just buy the the glorious medal of honor and send them to your alt and you will get going really fast also if you are playing a healer since before and you have been doing some arena you get uh, medal of conquest will reward you 50 conquest for every medal and you can send them as well to your alts that's the benefit of playing a healer that for every solo shuffle that you do you will get at least one of them and you will get geared really fast i promise you it's very easy this this season to gear up so once you get the gear you want to find a good talent build you can do this easily in two different places i'm gonna link the websites down in the description of course the first website is also a good place to find your pvp talents what pieces to craft for your gear what tier pieces you want to get basically see everything that you need on this website and the first one is called murloc.io so here we got murloc.io and as you can see here on the left you can see all the different classes so we can just go into a druid for example and here you can then choose your spec so let's go for restoration and then you choose if you're going for solo shuffle 2v2 or 3v3 and you can also see the top five right here rest of druids right now in the world and so here you can also see the stat priority it's very easy you get a graph to just see exactly what you what you need to aim for and also you can see what race is the most popular for that class and here you get to the talents so you can see the orange ones are the ones that most people are running with so you get both the the class talents and the specialization talents of course so it's very easy to find a good build right here if we go down you can see the pvp talents so you can see the the most popular ones 
So if we go down from the PvP talents, we get to the equipment and you can see every single piece that you want to go for. Like the crafted head and what tier pieces. So it's very easy to get a good hang of what you need to do for your character to get started. And then you can see the embellishments that you that people use on their crafted pieces. And you can also see the enchantments on every single piece that people are using. So it's a very good website to find almost everything that you need to get a good build and how to gear your character. So other than Murloc.io, I would recommend going to Drustvar as well if you want to see even more. Here you get the top 100 in every single class and spec. You can choose your region if you're in the US or in Europe. You can choose the bracket as well here. So if we, we go to Druid again and rest to Druid and then we can go into the top one and here we get the spec as well we get the pvp talents and you can also just go and see the build on wowhead if you want to get a an easier picture of it and here on drustvar you can also go and see the equipment and you can see everything the gems the enchantments and the embellishments as well so you get a good picture here as well so those two websites are the ones that i would recommend using so i will link them both down in the description for you guys to go and check them out if you're not sure about the rotation for your spec you can go to icyveins.com is what i would recommend i'm gonna link Link this down below as well and here you can find your basic rotation for both defensive offensive burst and everything like that and also you are going to be able to see the basic macros that you might want to use for that spec as well so you just go here to icy veins to pvp right here and then you choose what spec restoration for example play style and rotation and here you can see basic rotation for everything that you need to sustain defensive techniques and also you can find some useful macros very good basic things to have and then we have another important part of course the add-ons that you should use the add-ons that will make your life in pvp much easier so first off we should probably get to know where to get the add-ons you should go and get the curse forge app on curseforge.com i would absolutely recommend that i'm gonna link it down below as well here you can just update every add-on and download every add-on that you need and manage them very easy and to start off i think we should talk about weak auras a very important for arena once you've downloaded weak auras you can just go into the game and type slash wa and it will bring up your weak auras and this looks very confusing for beginners i would guess but it's very important and once you get it down it's very easy where you can go and find your weak auras i would recommend just like they say here you can just press here and you will come to this website wago.io and here you can find weak auras for everything that you might need you can just go into B beastmaster hunter and then you can just see which ones that interest you and once you find a weak aura that you like you just go into that one you press copy import string and go back to the game and you just press import paste the text and you just press import and it will import that one for you so as you can see now i have the weak aura right here you can just move it around you can change the size of everything try it out for yourself go in and try and change things you if you mess up you can just just re re-add the, the the weak aura no problems but it's a very important thing to have it's gonna make your awareness very much easier you're gonna see everything that you need if you just download the right ones i'm gonna leave some of the weak auras that i use in my discord of course other than weak auras i'm using an add-on called tab target arena fix what this add-on does is that when you press tab to target i use that a lot in arena especially when i play dps and Today in Arena, if you're playing against a Beast Mastery Hunter or like a Demo Lock, you're gonna have a million pets around you. And if you press Tab, it's gonna be targeting the pets and you're not gonna be able to target the Warlock or the Hunter. So what this add-on does is that it only targets the enemy player. So you're, you're not gonna be targeting the pets, you're gonna be targeting the player instead. So it's a very good add-on to, to avoid accidentally targeting a pet that's basically all it does other than that i'm using s arena 
and it looks like this. So here you have it. This is my enemy frames and you can change anything that you want. So once you're in here, you can change anything that you want. You can change the size of it and the spacing between everything. So you can see everything that you need, the, the enemy trinkets, the racials that they have. You're going to see if they are being CC'd. You are also going to be seeing DRs that you need to keep track of, like you see here, the poly. Uh, so you don't overlap your CC with someone else or put them on a DR right before a rogue is about to, to sheep shot them or something like that. Very good to keep track of, very important if you want to climb in arena. You're also going to have the cast bars like you can see right here. To see if someone is throwing, if you're a healer, for example, to just be aware if someone is throwing a polymorph at you so you can avoid that CC. Very, very important to have, I would say. It's a very easy add on, uh, but very useful if you want to climb Arena. The next add on I'm using would be Rare Scanner, like I was talking about before. I'm using this add-on to see if there is disturbed dirt or expeditions packs around to pick them up and they will the add-on will will tell me uh in game if there is anything around and I'm going to see it on my minimap and also on the map and it's very easy to use as well. We go into add-ons and rare scanner here you can change everything that you want to see. Uh, you can have sounds if you want to when something pops up it's also gonna be tracking rare mobs if you want to and if you just want to to use the add-on for the containers you go into container filter you can just choose the continent and the zone so the most important ones is disturbed dirt i would say uh, expedition scouts pack and magic bomb chest also give you sparks if you go and pick them up and also the war supply crate is a very good one to have active as well so it's gonna pop up a text on your screen when there is something in something nearby and let you know on the minimap where it is very easy useful to get that quest done fairly quickly the next add-on i'm using would be omni cd which tracks my party's cooldowns all the important big cooldowns that my party members have in arena it looks like this and as you can see right beside my party frame right here i'm gonna get my biggest cds right here and the trinket and it's gonna tell all of my teammates cds and trinkets as well so you can see if anybody has something to use so you don't overlap your cooldowns or trinket at the same time and mess up like that. It's very useful to have. And if you don't want to set this up for yourself, I'm going to share my profile in my Discord with you guys. So you can just import my profile very easily and you don't need to sit and, and mix your around with it by yourself. The next add-on that I'm using is Omnibar. It's pretty much the same as Omni CD, but this one tracks the enemy cooldowns instead. I'm going to share my profile for this add-on as well in my Discord, so you don't need to set it up. I have mine set to track the interrupts from my enemy players, so it's going to look like this. It's going to show when they have used any of their CDs that interrupts you, for example, and then you know if you can free cast or if there is any chance that you're going to be interrupted. So it's going to keep a track when, when they use it and when it will be up for them again. Very useful add-on as well. If you want to be in Omnibar, if you want more bars than what I use, then you can just go and create a new bar and you can go in here and you choose exactly from what class and what spell you want to track. So the next add-on I'm using would be Nameplate Cooldowns and this one also tracks the enemy cooldowns. So this add-on will show you the cooldowns above the nameplates like you can see right here. And you don't need to change very much if you don't want to. It comes very prepared, just, just easy to use straight away. The next add-on that I want to recommend is Life Bloom Glow. If you're playing a Resto Druid, it's very, very useful for Resto Druids. So what's, what it does is that it keeps track of your blooms for your Life Bloom. So if you put a Life Bloom on yourself, and you can see it right here. It's when when the life bloom starts to glow here, then you can reapply it to get the bloom effect as well to gain even more healing. Very useful add-on to have if you're playing a healer. So the next add-on I would recommend is Gladiator Lossa. 
and it's a very good add-on if you're a new pvp player and especially in arena it's gonna tell you when something is being used in arena if someone uses a trinket on the enemy team it's gonna let you know and if someone is throwing a polymorph or a hex on you it's gonna tell you before it's getting cast on you so you can avoid a cc all you need to do is go into the add-on and decide what you want it to tell you otherwise it will tell you everything that's being done in the arena and it will just be complete chaos in your head it will increase the awareness that you have in the arena if you're a new player because it's hard to keep track of everything that goes on in the arena so this one just helps you to get some more awareness very useful add-on if you're a new player or if you're just trying out a new class the next add-on that i would recommend if you're playing a healer especially is frame sort so what the add-on does is that it lets you decide on what position you want every pay player to be in your party frames. So me myself have myself in the middle and I have one of my teammates above me and one below me in, in arena. Makes it very easy to know exactly where I have the frames all the time. Very useful to keep track of players and if you're using the, the, the scroll targeting that I'm doing I have scroll up for, for one and scroll down for the other one and if I press down my scroll wheel I'm gonna target myself. Makes it very easy to, to know exactly who I'm healing. And then we have the enhanced raid frames. I am gonna leave my profile for this as well in my discord. It lets you change the size of your party frames because otherwise you are committed to the size of your ui completely but with this one you can have as small as or as big ui as you want and decide the size of your party frames i don't want everything else on my ui to be humongous so i'm just gonna recommend that one as well the last add-on that i'm gonna recommend will be big debuffs big debuffs keeps track of buffs and debuffs on your nameplates and party portrait as well so big debuffs all you actually need to do or want to do is to change the size of the the different debuffs and buffs that you can get you might want to change the priority as well to see which one is gonna prioritize and other than that it's fairly easy you have the test mode so you can see everything while you change it you can see the different debuffs that you get on your party frames you can see the one that you get in your portrait and you can also see on the nameplates so it's very useful it's good to just take a few minutes and set it up on the sizes that you want you are gonna be good to go so these are my settings. If you want to copy them, you can just pause the video and copy them. So this will be all you need to get ready for the arena with any class or any spec that you want. All you need to do is to take a few minutes and set the add-ons up the way that you want to, and then you are good to go. And if this video helped you out, just leave a like, leave a comment with what you thought about it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more guides and content about PvP in WoW Arena.